What's up everyone back for another beer review and today is the continuation of Mix Six Pack the Month here on the channel and the beer I'm reviewing today comes from Spottenbrau and they are out of Munich, Germany and this is their Franzenkana Premium Weissbier. So this is a German Hefeweizen. It comes in at 5% alcohol by volume, 12 IBUs at the time of review. This bottle is just under four months old. So uh, love me some German Hefeweizens and uh, I've had this one numerous times before, so full disclosure. And when I saw it in the mix six pack uh, location when I was picking up beers for this week I was like yeah I'm gonna grab that because for under two bucks it's a pretty good deal I haven't had it in a few years and uh, yeah I just wanted to give it a go so as far as like German Hefeweizens my favorite probably comes from Weihenstefana that's probably my favorite this is up there not my favorite but you know up there and uh, yeah I wanted to give it a go so here we are. Anyway, I don't have a uh, Hefeweizen glass, so I'm just using my new Belgium Brewing Company, like this big goblet. i um, gonna do the, you know, the, the three quarters of it in and then the pour at the end, hopefully, to get all the goodies in there. And we'll go from there, so yeah. Anyway, let's uh, throw this over here and give it a proper pour here. Let's do this. All right, so we're down to the last little bit. Give it a nice swish here, and then pour it in. Cloud it up. That's what we're gonna do. So, that looks beautiful in the glass. It looks like a New, New England style IPA. No, it looks like a classic German Hefeweizen, although a bit darker uh, than I'm accustomed to. I don't know how it's gonna come off on camera, but a bit more of like a deeper burnt orange. Um, but yeah, it looks beautiful, super cloudy and hazy, about a finger of a bright white, fluffy, creamy looking head. That looks like a great German Hefeweizen. Not much more to say, let's get a nose. Huge banana and clove. And uh, that's what I like about German Hefeweizens. And that's why I know some people don't really like them. Uh, if you don't like bananas and you don't like cloves or like spiciness uh, to your beers, I can see how this style probably isn't for you. But for me, I really like the banana in here. The clove is not like overly done. It's there from the yeast esters, really nice. <sighs> big breadiness too, big like white, almost brown bread-esque. A hmm. little bit of citrus character, like a, a more of like a lemony citrus character, slight orange. But really, the banana and, and, and the clove yeast esters are just like in my face. It smells like banana bread. Like it smells like, you know, you got the Wells banana bread beard, uh, beard, beer. Um, this smells like more of a banana uh, bread beer than that does, uh, from my palate anyway. It just smells awesome. So let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, really nice. A little bit more mild and subdued on the palate from the nose as far as like the banana and clove go. 5%, 5 this is like lower side of a medium body, so it's appropriate for what I'm looking for in a 5% Hefeweizen. The mouthfeel, it has a soft, smooth creaminess to it. it just accentuates the drinkability, and that's what I love about Hefeweizens too. The mouthfeel is always great. Well, in ones that are brewed properly anyway. There's still obviously carbonation here, but the mouthfeel is just so nice. And you know, people talk about like summer crushers, whatever. This is a summer crusher. You could just drink a ton of it in the summertime. I could. Uh, 5%, you're not gonna get you know super hammered or drunk from it. You're drinking like a six pack of it. Uh, it has nice flavors here, but they're they're you know nuanced and subtle. They're not super bold and boisterous where it's just gonna crush your palate. Um, on the palate, yeah, more of just like banana, banana, banana brown bread, but maybe not as leaning towards the brown bread kind of aspect, more of like a white bread. But yeah, bready, banana, clove, a little bit of that like lemony citrus. I was talking about orange citrus in the taste. Finishes a bit sweeter. Really not, no bitterness to speak of in this one. Not a lot of dryness. This isn't overly sweet. Like this is not like a, a, a beer I would call cloying or anything, but definitely sweeter. But as you can see, so easy to drink. Really nice beer. Yeah, is it my favorite German Hefeweizen, as I said in the beginning? No, it's not. Uh, Weihent Stefana is better than uh, this for me. But every time I have this one, I'm always reminded of how quality of a beer it is. Like, it's just it's, it's high quality. Um, so I'm going to do two ratings, style and personal preference, because like a beer like this, when it comes to this style, if I do my personal preference, I'm sure a lot of people would be like, wow, that's low for how you feel about the beer. And it might be the case. So I would say, like, as far as 
stylistically this beer goes. Franz and Kana Premium Vice Beer, I would give this like a 4.5 out of 5. It's up there. Like I said, not the best, not the... the it's, it's great, it's well executed, but I don't think it's the best within the style of the ones I've had. Personal preference though, I have no problems giving this a four out of five. Uh, that's, a, that's a really good score. It's a really tasty beer. I bought it before, I bought it this time, I'm gonna buy it again. And uh, you know, price and availability, I got this for buck 83 in a mixed six pack. I wanna say bottles of this are under 250. Uh, like I think, I don't, do they come in four packs or six packs? I forget at this point. If it comes in a six pack, you're probably looking at like 11, 12 bucks, even it, it being imported. I know they come, I believe in the 500 mil bottles uh, as well. And I think those are in like the three, 350 range. But for 250 a uh, uh, bottle or less for this one, considering it's imported and everything, I mean, yeah, it's, I think it's great value. Uh, availability, you get this everywhere basically at this point. Um, if you're in the States, you, you probably can get this anywhere locally, almost anywhere locally. I see it all the time uh, when I'm traveling, when I'm here, all around, along Western New York. So yeah, price and availability, pretty damn good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five, stylistically a 4.5 out of five. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. And what is your favorite uh, German brewed uh, Hefeweizen? Like I said, mine's Wein Stefana. I think that is my favorite of the ones I've tried. I've tried maybe like, you know, six to eight, not a ton, but tried most of the big boys and uh, a couple other ones as well. Uh, this one's, like I said, up there probably in the top top three for me, uh, maybe top four of the ones I've had. Uh, but yeah, anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by uh, for another beer review and another mixed six pack theme beer. Uh, check back tomorrow for another beer that will hopefully uh, be just as good as this because um, I'm really enjoying it. I keep on saying in these reviews now, but you know, this whole theme month has been a lot of fun because I get to revisit beers like this and a lot of you've had it and we have a good back and forth. I'm getting a lot of comments. People are really digging them and I'm digging them. So yeah, anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Till then. Cheers.